coming to the UK, <laughs> I knew that there are certain requirements before I can practice as a pharmacist. Yeah, I have to do um, a conversion program. So, and I wasn't ready for that because currently I'm trying to um, get done with the MSC I came for. I thought of doing a care job because in Nigeria, they've always hyped. It's not that difficult. It's just like caring for your relatives, friends and family. Irony. Hello lovelies, good morning. Um, my name is Nikki Choma. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today um, is actually the first day of school resumption and um, there's so much excitement in the air. And for the very first time, I just did something to my face to like make it a bit presentable. Wait a minute. So I came to the UK by um, the 10th of uh, March. Yeah, so I've been in the UK for going to two months now yeah the experience has been um, wonderful there's been uh, so much challenge as well as um, accomplishments first of all it started with um, accommodation so basically i would advise before you start an academic journey to another country that is not your home country and where you don't um, have any relatives or friend who can um, accommodate you for the time being please ensure to sort out your accommodation in nigeria before coming in because accommodation is kind of like a big deal here it's a big deal for like a month i had to put up in the hotel pending when i was able to find an accommodation and because the documentation processes for accommodation is quite tedious and demanding being that you're new they want to check your your credit worthiness um where you've lived before and you don't have this information because you have only lived probably in nigeria or any other country so the best option would be before you start coming if you're using a student accommodation sort it out from your home country before coming in and if you have a relative please sort that out a friend sort that out be sure they are willing to accommodate you so you don't come to the uk and get stranded i actually had friends that are in the uk but funny enough i got disappointed and i i can understand now because it's not easy for you to have someone for an additional person you have in your house for let's say a week there are chances that your bills increases so you're paying for water you're paying for electricity you're paying for gas so you probably want to know the kind of person you're letting into your accommodation so yeah let me not bore you with all those stories so yes i finally sorted out the accommodation and i moved in yeah accommodation has become a bit expensive in conventry because i would say the high rate of students coming in here or something but it's like a big deal like i've had friends who told me before now they usually pay between the ranges of um, 400 to 500 for uh, a flat but now you can the least you can see a flat and you even rush it is 700 if you see a flat going for 700 you would rush it like currently now you would. then um i moved on after the house stuff because without your house you can't open an account because they want to link it to your postcode where you're living like everything is related everything is linked okay so i moved past the accommodation and it got to okay i needed something to do because i couldn't just concentrate alone on academic work because what about the days i don't have classes what am i going to do sit at home and do nothing so i decided to go job searching okay i'm actually a pharmacist from nigeria but coming to the uk <laughs> I knew that there are certain requirements before I can practice as a pharmacist. Yeah, I have to do um, a conversion program. So, and I wasn't ready for that because currently I'm trying to um, get done with the MSc I came for. So, I thought of doing a care job because in Nigeria they've always hyped. It's not that difficult. It's just like caring for your relatives, friends, and family. Irony. <laughs> It is tedious. It is difficult. It is not easy. Don't let anybody deceive you. It's not easy. It's for those that have strong heart. Ebubedikes, like the Igbos who call it Ebubedike, Oye Werobi is the only person that can do a caregiver job. Because sometimes you get to a service user's house and they are not nice. They are not nice, irrespective of your the fact that you are here to help them. They are not nice. They don't care. 
some are sweet don't get me wrong some are very sweet but some when you get to the place and see the job you have to do <laughs> you might want to think twice about the job so yeah let's go back i started the job search of course trust uk do you have six months experience with care in the uk for somebody that is just one month old in uk you are asking me for six months experience for me to work as a carer in the uk interesting interview to interview in fact indeed became my best friend like it was as if my my mail was filled with indeed like oh there's this job nikki exploit there's this job nikki exploit interviews to interviews fruitless interviews Damn! like from one to the other some will tell you oh you are successful we'll contact you for the next badge so we we'll say oh we need a carer that can drive can you drive do you have a driver's license no i don't have so finally i got a hint from a friend that domiciliary care which actually entails um going from one client's house like you're providing the care to the clients in their home is a bit easy they don't really need much requirement from you they will train you on the job and then you also get certification on the job too so i opted out i started searching for domiciliary and i found one okay let's get let's cut to the documentation process and Timo could start work now bring your bank this bring your uh, your your contract for your um, accommodation bring uh, what identifies you as a student bring a student letter from your university stating when you'll be in section and when you'll not be in section my dear by the time we we're done the school holiday that was for one month was finished so your babe is officially working when school has resumed just imagine you know what time it is then it's now that probably some of them that I had long lost interest in started coming hello nikki are you still interested in working with us um, please get your facts right get your information right the only difference between uk and nigeria is the fact that yes it's an organized country but the same way you hustle for nigeria now the same way you go hustle for uk money no they grow for three nobody go dash you one pound nobody go live in change for you or dash you one pound because everybody is working tooth and nail to make that money so nobody is willing to um, um, cut corners for you and sincerely if you know that you are coming to the uk and you know how to lie from nigeria because drop it because if they catch you now you go regret them if they catch you now you go regret them i had a friend okay when i was in nigeria i've done a bit of care like for families volunteered in some all these their old people's home to do some care activities for them maybe because i knew somehow along the line that i would uh, those experience might help me so when i was being interviewed i actually stated that yeah i've done care but back in nigeria they don't give any certificate for care just thank you for volunteering it's like a volunteer work so you don't get any certification for it so by the time we started in the interview, they, they, they asked me some questions and they knew that, okay, I knew what I was talking about. Like, I have actually had a bit of care. Now, a friend of mine went for an interview and he was asked, how many years have you done a care job for? Of course, nigga, friends must, bad friends must have advised him that guy, just lie your way through, lie your way through, they won't find out. Okay. Nigga said um, he has done care for for six months in the UK. Blah, 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 blah. So, 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 agency fumbled with some names of agency. Okay, some agency might not want to contact your previous employer, but some might shock you and contact your previous employer. So, if you are lying, you are only hurting yourself. So, yeah, congratulations. You've gotten the job. They gave him the job. And then, what's the next thing? Nigga moves to the job proper so during the induction process because one beautiful thing about uk jobs is that despite any level of training you've had despite that you've worked for six months in the uk in care if you're going to work with another agency they will still do induction because they want to put you through because they believe each client is different no two clients are the same so they want to put you through and teach you everything from a to z that you need to know about caring for each of their clients because they all have specific needs you want to meet and you have to follow their care plan without any mistakes or error so 
at the induction of course his line manager like is the way we have bosses in nigeria the person you're directly working on that is supervising you you'll be there throughout your journey as a carer guiding you for professional development if you have any issues you can go to your line manager so the line manager oh yeah during the interview you said you've done manual handling okay let's watch you do some manual handling activities I think I was looking at them. He had no idea. He, like, it's not, it's not good enough that you lied. You didn't even bother to read up about because at least if you had read up about what you told them you knew how to do, you probably see um, some videos on Instagram or anywhere that would teach you how this manual handling is being done. And then nigga was just looking at them. At the spot, nigga was fired. Damn! At the spot, he was fired. Interesting. So, why am I giving you this long story? It's just to tell you that no come UK con the lie. Tell people the truth. If you're late for an appointment with someone, tell them the truth that, oh, I slept off. They understand. But once you lie and they find out, you have lost their trust. Secondly, before you say you are going to any school for masters, Please find out how is accommodation in that area, how is working in that area. Are they flexible enough to allow students to work and study? Those are the things you need to find out. Because there are some cities in the UK like Luton. Job no day Luton. No. You guys they travel like how many kilometers to another city to go and find job and work. So is it not better that you do your research very well? in nigeria before coming over here and don't don't let anybody put that idea in your head that immediately you land job day job yes there are jobs but they will not take an unqualified or inexperienced or a quack to do the job you must be properly trained before you are allowed to do the job so come with money not say immediately i reach i will begin make pounds it doesn't work that way truth be told it doesn't work that way there is more to it and what others are telling you. I'm not here to tell you there's nothing in UK. Don't come to UK. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, if you're coming to UK, be ready to work. It's not uh, a charity nation. And I hear stories of Nigerians that come and form mental health issues so that they can become charity case. Anyway, today is not the day to talk about that. I bid you God's speed and I bid you God's guidance in it. So like I said, today is the first day of my school resumption for second semester and I'm heading to school. And actually today, the only task I have is to um, do some research because um, I wanted to find out um, if um, what it requires of me to go to the US for Christmas because my uncle is inviting me over. So I just wanted to find out what it would take. So I don't start running kitty kitty during December. So I just want to sort myself out now and just know that all I have to do is just get the visa and then just pay for my flight. Immediately be closed for the second semester and go and enjoy myself because Omo, the baby girl deserves to be pampered. I've been stressed, so I need to be pampered. So basically, for now, because I'm only entitled to work 20 hours per week, and when I say 20 hours per week, don't let anybody deceive you. I've heard people saying that um, uh, you can work more than 20 hours. Just tell them to pay the money into your husband's account, your friend's account, or so 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 and so account. If you work for you, they don't catch you. No problem. But if they catch you, you know what it means, right? You know that if you have plans of remaining in the UK after your studies, <laughs> that plan don't disappear from under your nose. You don't come out. So... It is better to do right. What I usually do is, when I'm on break, I can work as much. I can be, I can be a bulldozer. I can watch, take as much shifts as I want, which I did even last week. I worked up until Sunday morning. I had to tell them, please take off my Sunday duties because I need Sunday to rest and prepare for school. So while you're in your academic session, 20 hours is enough. And some of us, you won't even get to work up to that 20 hours because of what academic work. That's the main purpose why you're there. You're not there for the money. And you don't want to uh, be an average student because the better your results, the better chances you stand to get employment offers. Hope you know that. You know, go carry seed, they expect say they go employ you. 
before person will get ill. You need a walk. And for someone like me that hopes to be retained by my university to lecture, I guess buckle up and make sure that I have good grades so that when I'm applying, if by any chance they get to like want to see how my academic performance was when I was with them, it, they will be so delighted to have me in their team. So if you can do the 20 hours, combine it with school, fine and good. It's all lovely. If you can't, if you are like me that if you work too much, you lose focus. You can take 14 hours a week, 15 hours a week and you go your way. You have the remaining days of the week to work. Like for me now, I'm free on, on Fridays and Saturdays. So what do I do? I work Fridays and Saturdays. I don't work on Sundays because I need it to rest and go to church. I'm not a beggar. So basically, that's just it. Every like Everything has to have control and you have to be disciplined actually here. You will have to be disciplined. Because it's not something you say, I'll give my friend my card to go, in, to go for class for me and uh, they will sign. Um, my university is not like that though. It's not like that. Because funny enough, even the classmates and the friends I have, they will not even want to take that risk for you. Because what if they get caught? What would they explain that they were on their own? You gave them card to sign in for you and all that. So I attend my class because funny enough, if you don't attend the class, when you're doing the coursework, you'll be like Olodo. I mean Olo, Olodo. You don't know what to write about. It's not about copy from the internet and paste though. It's about the criticality of your work. When they are grading it and you see the kind of comments they keep on it. Then you would know that you need to sit up and do the research even though there are no exams for the course i'm doing you just have to sit down and do a proper a good research for a master's student and submit like last semester i didn't really explore my options very well i didn't use the library so i was very pissed with myself despite that my results were good but this semester we sleep in the library we explore everything even the free wi-fi i will use it the university will pass through me and I will pass through the university. Yeah, sorry. Hope I didn't bore you so much with all my long stories. Don't worry. I'll be back probably tomorrow. Yeah, if I'm a bit free to talk to you guys. Just give me a subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my video, please subscribe to it. Follow me and get more updates. Thank you. I love you. From Nikki Choma. Bye.